In the heart of Zen, Buddhism lies a profound reverence for simplicity and direct experience. Zen stories, known as koans, are like riddles for the soul, inviting us to look beyond the surface and delve into deeper truths. The story of the empty cup is one such koan, a timeless tale that speaks volumes about the true nature of learning and the importance of humility. It is a gentle reminder that to truly learn, we must first empty ourselves of preconceived notions and embrace a beginner's mind. This story, though short, holds within it the essence of a life dedicated to learning and growth. It is a call to approach the world with a sense of wonder and a willingness to let go of what we think we know. Imagine a serene mountaintop monastery shrouded in mist and alive with the sound of birdsong. Here, a renowned Zen master resided, known for his wisdom and compassion. One day, a scholar, eager to learn from the master, made the arduous journey up the mountain. The scholar, brimming with confidence and knowledge from years of study, approached the master with an air of intellectual superiority. Eager to impress the master with his vast understanding, the scholar launched into a lengthy discourse on his interpretations of sacred texts and his profound philosophical insights. The master listened patiently, his expression serene and unreadable. As the scholar continued to speak, the master remained silent, observing not just the scholar's words, but also his demeanor and the energy behind his speech. When the scholar finally paused for a breath, the master gestured towards a simple teacup resting on a low table. Would you care for some tea? He asked the scholar. The scholar, assuming this was merely a polite gesture, nodded in agreement, his thirst for knowledge momentarily superseded by his thirst for refreshment. The master proceeded to pour the scholar a cup of tea. However, instead of stopping when the cup was full, the master continued pouring. The tea overflowed, spilling onto the table and dripping onto the floor. The scholar, initially surprised, watched in astonishment as the master continued to pour, seemingly oblivious to the mess he was creating. Finally, unable to contain himself any longer, the scholar exclaimed, Master, stop! The cup is full. It cannot hold any more. The master stopped pouring and looked at the scholar with a gentle smile. You are like this cup, he said, gesturing towards the overflowing vessel. You are so full of your own opinions, beliefs, and knowledge that there is no room for anything new to enter. The scholar, taken aback by the master's words, sat in stunned silence. He had come seeking wisdom, yet he realized that his mind, like the overflowing cup, was too full of itself to receive it. The master continued to learn you must first empty your cup, let go of your preconceived notions, your need to be right and your attachment to what you think you know. Only then can you truly see with fresh eyes and receive the wisdom that is all around you. Humility, the foundation of learning. It is the bedrock upon which all true learning is built. The story of the empty cup beautifully illustrates the importance of humility in the pursuit of knowledge. Just as the cup must be empty to receive new water, our minds must be open to receive new ideas. Humility in this context is not about self-deprecation or feeling inferior. It is about recognizing that we always have more to learn. It is about understanding that no matter how much we know, there is always more to discover. It is about approaching learning with an open mind and a willingness to admit that we don't have all the answers. This openness allows us to be receptive to new information and perspectives. When we cling tightly to our beliefs and opinions, we create a barrier that prevents new information and perspectives from entering our minds. This barrier can be a significant obstacle to our growth and understanding. We become like the overflowing cup unable to receive the refreshing and enriching knowledge that surrounds us. Our minds are too full to take in anything new. Humility, on the other hand, allows us to approach learning with a beginner's mind, like a child eager to discover the world for the first time. 
This childlike curiosity is essential for true learning. It is this sense of wonder and openness that enables us to absorb new information, challenge our existing beliefs, and grow in our understanding. By maintaining humility, we keep our minds open to the endless possibilities of learning and growth. An open mind is like a fertile field, ready to receive the seeds of knowledge. When we approach learning with humility and openness, we create space for those seeds to take root, grow and blossom into new understanding. Conversely, a closed mind is like a barren desert, resistant to change and growth. When we are attached to being right, when we fear being wrong, we close ourselves off from the transformative power of learning. Keeping an open mind is not about blindly accepting everything we hear or read. It is about engaging with new ideas critically and thoughtfully, even if they challenge our existing beliefs. It is about being willing to consider different perspectives, to question our assumptions, and to embrace the discomforts that often accompany intellectual growth. History is replete with examples of individuals who, through their humility and open-mindedness, have made groundbreaking discoveries and pushed the boundaries of human knowledge. Consider the story of Albert Einstein, who, despite his immense intellect, remained deeply humble throughout his life. He famously said, the more I learn, the more I realize how much I don't know. It was this very humility that allowed him to make revolutionary discoveries that transformed our understanding of the universe. Similarly, Marie Curie, the pioneering physicist and chemist, approached her work with a profound sense of humility and a relentless pursuit of knowledge. Her groundbreaking research on radioactivity not only earned her two Nobel Prizes, but also paved the way for countless advancements in medicine and other fields. In today's rapidly evolving world, where knowledge is constantly expanding and changing at an unprecedented pace, the importance of humility and open-mindedness cannot be overstated. These qualities are essential in navigating the complexities of modern life. We live in an age of unprecedented access to information, yet this abundance can be overwhelming if we are not equipped with the right mindset to navigate it effectively. The sheer volume of data available at our fingertips can be both a blessing and a curse. The internet, for all its wonders, can also be a breeding ground for misinformation and echo chambers where our existing beliefs are reinforced rather than challenged. This makes it crucial to develop critical thinking skills. It is more important than ever to cultivate humility and an open mind, to recognize the limits of our own knowledge and to be willing to learn from others. We must strive to be discerning consumers of information and to approach learning as a lifelong journey rather than a destination. This mindset encourages continuous growth and adaptation. Humility allows us to acknowledge that we don't have all the answers and that there is always more to learn. It encourages us to seek out diverse perspectives, to engage in meaningful dialogue, and to be open to changing our minds when presented with new information. This openness is the cornerstone of true learning. It is this willingness to learn and adapt that will enable us to thrive in a world characterized by constant change and uncertainty. Embracing perpetual learning is not just a necessity, but a path to personal and collective growth. The next time you find yourself feeling certain, knowing, or intellectually superior, remember the Zen story of the empty cup. This ancient tale reminds us that a mind full of assumptions and certainties leaves no room for new insights. Take a moment to reflect on your own cup. Consider the state of your mind and heart. Is it overflowing with preconceived notions, opinions, and beliefs? Are you holding on to ideas that no longer serve you? Or is there space for new knowledge to enter? Can you make room for fresh perspectives and innovative thoughts? Embrace the wisdom of the empty cup. Understand that true wisdom comes from the willingness to be open and receptive. Approach learning with humility, openness, and a beginner's mind. This mindset allows you to see the world with fresh eyes and endless possibilities. Let go of the need to be right and embrace the joy of discovery. 
Relinquish the ego's desire to dominate and control, for it is in the act of emptying ourselves that we create space for true learning and growth to occur. This emptiness is not a void, but a fertile ground for new ideas. Remember, the pursuit of knowledge is not a race to be won, but a journey to be savored. Each step offers a new lesson, each moment a chance to grow. Embrace the empty cup, and may your journey be filled with wonder, discovery, and the transformative power of lifelong learning. Let this philosophy guide you through every stage of life, enriching your path with endless curiosity and growth.